Welcome to PAX 2017 down in Australia. I am at the ASUS conference for the new Z370 launch of their motherboards. And actually quite a bit is changing this time. And I'm joined here by Jack. How are you doing? Good, yes. Okay, nice, it's nice to actually be on this camera again. <laughs> <laughs> this year we are in the, with the Z370 launch, we are already in the 10th generation of the Maximus series. Okay, in this series, of course, you're actually, actually going to see the Strix is now taking part of the ROG segments. Plus, we will actually see some changes in the Tough series where you actually go from the extreme high-end workstation more to, to a more, more of a gaming more of a gaming segments, okay, to actually allow, allow you to actually have 24-7 gaming workstations running 24-7 for you. Okay, and of course there will also be some Prime series as well. Now notice with the Tough series, you guys are actually making this tough, as in the word T-O-U-G-H, right? Things are stronger on this motherboard. There's also that land guard, which protects against uh, lightning strikes. Now, me personally, I've had a motherboard blow out the NIC or the NIC on board, and I couldn't get it working again, but the rest of the motherboard worked fine. So something like the land guard is a great feature on the new Tough series, yeah. Yes, definitely. We, we apart from the land guard, we also have we also have EST guard to actually guard against any sort of EST protect any sort of ESTs like us now. We wearing rubber shoes, uncovers. You will most likely to actually damage any of your IOs when you try to actually fiddle around and try to actually plug any device any devices onto your onto your PCs that's already turned on, okay? And what you will actually be damaging will not only be on the device or the port, you will actually be killing your chipset. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I've tried to kill parts with ESD before I failed. I couldn't do it, so I guess more protection might be a better thing. But now there's two technologies on the uh, new Z370 lineup. Uh, I guess the first one's not really a technology, but more a convenience thing, and that's the input-output shields, and now completely implemented onto the motherboard. Now, me personally, I do mingle with new parts, but also mingle with used parts, and something like this is going to create uh, a lot less hassles, especially when I'm picking up one of these Z370 boards five years time and I don't need to worry about it not having an IO shield. Is that something that you guys are proud about with implementing an IO shield integrated into the motherboard? Yes definitely. We Over the years we have actually collected all the user feedbacks on what they actually need and one of the things that we actually found is, uh, is with a lot of people when they actually assemble the system they forget about IO shield or they actually, in, they actually install the motherboard in wrongly that you actually have something sticking into the IO ports from the IO shield. In that case, for normal, ca for normal users, they will need to actually reassemble the system or to call help. Okay? So like, in order to actually help, this, help these customers, we actually developed the pre-mount back IOs, where we already pre-mount on there. To, uh, once you're actually ready to actually install this motherboard inside your case, you just mount this motherboard in, just slot it in like, it, like without IO shield, and bam, it will actually be there. Simple as that. Awesome, and the last technology we're going to talk about here today is the OptiMem. I noticed that's coming in new uh, with the Z370 lineup. Basically, that's to do with the layers of PCB and the connectivities through the layers, if I imagine, right? Yeah? That's correct, okay? You know, for multi for multi-layer PCBs, in order to actually travel from one layer to another, you will actually need to actually use so-called via holes to actually go between different layers. However, every time when you actually go through the layers, there will actually be a deduction of there will actually be a degrade of signal, signal quality. So the more the more you actually go through, of course, there will actually be weaker signals. So what we are, what we are actually develop is actually a guideline for engineers to actually develop motherboards in a way that we are trying to actually minimize the the chances of going through the via holes. Okay, by doing that, we can improve the memory scalability by significantly. In this generation, okay, you will actually expect our entry motherboards with of the the memory to actually be able to actually perform as well as the higher motherboards in the memory scaling. All right, that sounds like some awesome new technologies. Thanks for your time, Jack, and I will see you around. So now I'm joined here by Herbert. He is going to explain to me why ASUS has been dominating in the motherboard market. I mean, from what I'm told, 45% market share, and there are a lot of other good players in this game. What is making you guys set yourselves apart from the competition? We dominate in the market because we focus on the product. Like for the design, we always invest lots of resource on the features. We make all impossible things become possible. For example, like USB bar flashback, 
five-way optimization. Also, all rusting software is one of the key features to target the gaming market as well. Now, one thing I saw in the presentation here was that you guys are implementing a five gigahertz overclock on your new ASUS Z370 motherboards. Now, this is very interesting because a lot of people will just want to lock it in. They've got really good cooling. And in a lot of cases, they'll be able to hit these five gigahertz speeds on an 8700K, yeah? Yes, it's um, including the you know, five-way optimization. And also, we, we have the BIOS um, different setting for that performance. So now with 2017 practically being labeled as the year of RGB, which I completely agree with, uh, I've noticed that ASUS have been pushing their new Aura Sync technology. Though, how does this differ itself from the competitors? We are the first one uh, to feature um, four pin RGB header and also three pin adjustable header on the same motherboard. This, uh, we are the first one for these features. Um, also, for ASUS, um, Aura-Sync, if you compare to other competitors, their Aura or their Lightning technology only mainly control motherboard and VGA card. But for ASUS, we partner with lots of different vendors. So we release the Aura SDK, we call it Aura SDK, to let the other vendor to invest their resource to sync with our motherboard. So we're using one software, we can sync with all other components, which other computer can, cannot do it. Also, you know ASUS, we do have um, more than motherboard VGA card, we do have monitor, we do have keyboard, mouse. So everything can sync together by using one software. Awesome, now with the internet going abuzz with the Z370 chipsets and obviously the 8th gen Coffee Lake CPUs, uh, with ASUS, now you guys, a lot of people out there, they like to make tweaks in the BIOS. So whether it be a non, even a non-overclockable CPU, in the past we have seen even just raising memory speeds and little things like that. Uh, do you have any tips and tricks for the viewers with your ASUS motherboards on how they can get better performance out of their CPUs, whether it be easy tweaks or even more experienced or difficult tweaks? For the XMP, uh, it will, for the Z370 new motherboard, it will automatically activate these features. For the beginner, it is extremely easy to use. So basically, a lot of people, that's actually pretty good because a lot of people don't usually, uh, they, they get Z370 motherboards in the past, or they got Z370s, for example, and they got these motherboards and they have XMP profiles and they don't enable it and they don't overclock anything. So they're now gaining that performance automatically if you're a beginner. So that's actually not a bad feature. Now, obviously, there's another thing with uh, multi-core enhancement, MCE. Is that something on ASUS motherboards that's activated by default? Uh, yes, it is. So that will essentially on the 8700K, as you guys know, will uh, turbo your CPU up to the all cores on the top ratio. So I believe in the 8700K, you'll get 4.7 gigahertz on all cores. Whether your CPU can do that or not, uh, that's still up to the uh, cooler that you have, of course. And if the CPU will run at those temperatures and your ambient temperatures, there's a lot more to it than that. But anyway, Herbert, thank you for coming out today. And it was a pleasure speaking to you and also Jack about the new motherboard lineup. They are indeed innovating that input-output shield. I believe that will be a feature that you will see a lot of other motherboard manufacturers implementing on their motherboards in due time. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions for Herbert or Jack or me, then drop a comment in the comment section below and I will get back to you guys as soon as I can. And for now, I want you guys to peace out and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.